Hey, what's up, YouTube? This is Paul from LavishLives.com, and I'm back here again with another sneak review for you guys. Um, this time, it is an Air Force One. Um, it's a Nike ID, actually. Uh, this is before the um, Beast Folks came out, and what I try to do with this is to put the color scheme on the LeBron 3's um, Oilers player exclusive, and I just love the color and the color combination. I just love that, so I just want to implicate that on the Air Force One. Um, so here it goes. This is my Air Force One Nike ID done at 21 Mercer. Um, thank you. Uh, so check this out. I used three different materials. Um, here's a white pearlized patent leather on the tip, the eye stay, the foxing, and the back stay. Also, I used the metallic silver on the toe box, the quarter lateral panel, and on the tongue. Um, I also used gold foil, which is on the swoosh, which leads to the back tab, and um, onto the other side of the swoosh. I also used it on the hardware, which says, you know, the Air Force One, um, and on the tongue label right there. I mean, it's, I think it, it's, it's a cool combination of colors on the upper. I mean, I don't know if you guys, I, you guys probably do a better job than me, but I just wanted to implicate the Oilers on the sneaker. So um, the midsole or the sidewall is a um, very baby bluish. Um, the stitching on inside is red to um, go with the red laces and the red inner. Um, the air logo on the midsole is red and I have a sticky gum sole on the bottom. I mean, I really like the shoe. I really do. Um, this is, I wear it a lot, so I'm proud of this. Because, I mean, it is my own design. Um, I also got the skirt, the uh, certificate of um, authenticity, which comes in the box. The extra laces are baby blue. And it also came with a, uh, I guess a keychain. I don't know what to call this, but um, it says Mr. Lavish Lives. I would prefer it said it say to to say lavish lives, but um, whatever, it's cool. Um, yeah, so this is how it looks like if it's baby blue. If I use it, I mean it's cool. I like the sneaker. I enjoy it too. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but the that's how the tag looks like. It says Nike ID inside, which is cool. I mean, I like it. Um, it did take about three weeks to uh, make though, so. I mean, it was a. I guess it was worth it waiting. Price was wrong. I'm not too sure how much I paid. I forgot. Two two hundred fifteen. But um, I guess it is worth it because you get to design it and make it your own. But it's not a beast book. Other people, you know, copy it. You can't use premium quality leather or, you know, different kind of materials. So maybe, hopefully, once I do get the funds, I'll make a beast book. But as of now, I'll stick. I'll stick to these. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's it for now. Um, stay tuned. Peace.